What's up guys, Rui here, welcome back to the channel. Before I continue with today's video, just a little quick announcement. I am trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And it would mean so much to me if you guys go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It seems like traditional Japanese silhouettes are making a pretty big wave over on the functional and technical side of fashion. Or at least that's what I've been observing from many brands lately. I kind of have to admit, there is this pretty cool aesthetic look when you combine traditional Japanese silhouettes with more modern utilitarian design. Therefore, in today's video, we will be looking at five different brands that you can check out if you want to incorporate these kind of silhouettes into your wardrobe. Now, do know that all of these brands will range from different price points, so hopefully there will be one that will suit your budget. Now, if you are interested in any of these brands, I will be leaving all the links down below in the description box. I'm gonna keep this video short and simple, so let's get on with the first brand. The first brand on this list is Shuren Projects, who is based in Malaysia, and they are the most affordable brand on today's list. Focusing on the concept and idea of urban wear, Shuren Projects is a brand that delivers pieces for everyday wear with the incorporation of subtle outdoor wear designs. I would say if you are looking for something a little more than your average Uniqlo stuff, Shuren Project is a really great place to start venturing out to more interesting pieces. Many of the pieces are fairly simple design which makes it easy to style them or just incorporate them into your wardrobe. Among all the pieces that they do make, I would say that they are very well known for their Noragi pieces. Going for less than 100 US dollars, this is not going to be a tech wear functional piece as you are not going to get any performance fabric or crazy features but instead a classic casual noragi that you can wear on a daily basis. There are also a variety of different colors to choose from that are all really easy colors to pair up with. One of my favorite pieces from them is the noragi coat, which is basically an elongated noragi. I think it's a very nice rendition as it still maintains a classic noragi silhouette, but does add a little more design language towards the piece. Stepping up to the 100 US dollar range, there is a bunch of different brands that you could check out. Many of you guys might be familiar with Rain the Illusion from China as they have been featured multiple times over on bigger tech web channels such as this is Antoine, Corbin, and Ji Hoon. They seem to be a pretty good brand if you are looking for pieces that have a good balance between price and performance. The 098 water repellent kimono is part of their latest collection that's constructed with 3M Scotch Guard fabric which features performance such as water repellent and quick dry. If you are interested in the futuristic cyber ninja aesthetic, then this piece might be for you with the all black and stealthy look. The coolest feature of this kimono I would say is the great extended hem design that is able to be hidden using magnetic hem closures if you choose to opt for a more cleaner look. This is really nice as it just gives you a little bit more styling option with it. One pretty interesting design choice for this piece is that the sling strap is actually on the outside instead of being inside like a lot of other functional jackets that you can find. From aesthetic wise, it does add some visual elements as you have the exposed strap to give it a more utilitarian look. Coming in at the mid $100 price point, we have Outhouse from Jakarta, Indonesia. I actually recently got to know about them and I would say they do some rather eccentric and interesting pieces as it consists of a blend of modern functional and utilitarian features but also incorporates traditional fabrics and garment making. The piece that really caught my attention from them is the Vagabond jacket. It is based on a noragi silhouette but with a lot of different details and materials incorporated in it. If you are the type who likes heavy pocket detailing and utilitarian style, then this piece might just be right up your alley. Do know that there are a couple of different variations of this jacket which are all constructed differently as well as having different design language. I particularly like the rich 3L asphalt vagabond jacket as it's designed in a more functional approach with the usage of waterproof and breathable fabric and I think the design of it is done tastefully without overkilling it with just the right amount of pockets and placements on it. Moving up the list, we are entering the high-end territory. So brace yourself and your wallets because up next we have Enfant Leve. Based in Berlin, Germany, the brand does a lot of futuristic, experimental, and dystopic wear. One aspect that I really do like about this brand is that they offer different fabric choices for the same piece. So you could opt for the more expensive performance fabric or if you just want the silhouette and design of the piece but don't particularly need such high performance fabric then you could opt for the less expensive one and save yourself some money. For their latest collection drop, they feature a couple of really cool noragi and kimono pieces for their men's line. 
The way the pieces are styled really does look like something a person would wear in a dystopic future. Very layered and drapey look, which if you do intend to pull this look off, I feel like you really have to commit to the entire look. Constructed with some of the best materials out there, such as Stoltz and Schola Performance Fabric, it does not come cheap, with the cheapest one being for around 340 US dollars and the most expensive one going for over $8,000. However, if you are able to bite the bullet, you are going to be in for some real treat as you are going to be getting some of the best construction and performance fabric out there paired with some really good design language. My favorite from the collection has to be the Oinari Noragi Bomber Jacket. It doesn't try to overdo it on the feature department, but instead focuses on the cutting and shape of the silhouette. It looks so futuristically designed as if it came out straight from a sci-fi movie. Finally, for the last brand, this list would not be complete without mentioning Visvum if we're talking about modernized traditional Japanese silhouettes. Founded in 2001 by Hiroki Nakamura, Visvum is arguably the pinnacle of Japanese brands when it comes to craftsmanship and fabric material. Blending Americana and Japanese traditional silhouettes, the iconic Sanjuro Kimono is an absolute beauty and perfect example of what Hiroki Nakamura's vision is for Visvum. This piece is based on a traditional kimono during the Edo period and is combined with the elements of a MA1 flight jacket. As you can see, there are a lot of recognizable design elements on this piece, such as the iconic sleeve pocket found on bomber jackets. Probably one of the ultimate holy grails for many as this piece is going for over 2000 US dollars. To me, this is truly such a timeless piece because it is so perfectly executed from the design of it to the color block end. The jacket also has hand-stitched sashiko detailing, which is a form of decorative reinforcement stitching method created by the Japanese people during the Edo period. It is used to reinforce points of wear or to repair worn places or tears with patches making the piece ultimately stronger. That is all for today's video. What are your thoughts on these pieces? Are you a fan of traditional Japanese silhouettes? And are you planning to add it into your wardrobe or this whole style is just not for you? Whatever the case is, do let your thoughts be known down in the comment section box below. As always, if you did enjoy watching today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel or just haven't been subscribed yet, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button because it really does help the channel out a long way. Don't forget there will be an Arbigil mod giveaway once this channel hits 1,000 subscribers. Till then guys, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.